I'm home caught, it's dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around? Well, now you book Tales from the Hood, right? Would, would you familiar with uh, Rusty as a director? No, sir. Okay. I didn't even know him till we worked. Yeah. So what was that like? The first, when you find out that you get the, you get the role, like what you know? I was happy the motherfucker. Did you feel like happy I'm, 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 nigga, I was I was the happiest nigga in South Central. Did Los you feel Angeles. like you you made it at that point? Like fuck, I got like first no, movie. I didn't feel I made it, but yeah. I felt like I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed yeah. to do. Yeah, I felt like I made it. Let me stop lying, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I would, but this on get on the bus, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I felt great. Yeah. But let's go back. And, hold on. But I, I'm going to get to get on the bus. But now with Tales from the Hood, what was it like to share the screen? Oh, see, that's the double. Yeah. See, that's the double crawl. What? You got Tales from the Hood. Yeah. And then you got Get on the Butt. Right. Both of them executive produced. Spike and Lee. then the next one directed by Spike Lee. Right. Right, right, right. All right. Number two, direct, Get on the Butt, directed by Spike Lee. Rusty Condit. He made um, Tell From The Hood. Mm -hmm. So my mm -hmm. beginning mm -hmm. and then my middle. Right. Or my edge. Yeah. Yeah. So sharing the screen with Joe Torrey, because Joe Torrey was was hot at that time as a comic. You know what I mean? Oh, and Clarence Williams III. With oh, David G. Allen Greer. Rest in peace. David, David Allen Greer. What was it like to go to the first him. fucking movie and you with these heavyweights like that? I mean, high, high I would, I would, they wasn't heavyweights like that back then, but Clarence Joe, was. Clarence was. Clarence real was. life. Yeah. Let me speak on Clarence real quick. Mm -hmm. Clarence William the triple. Yep. Was a one from the dribble. Mm -hmm. Gone set. He ain't talking to nobody. Mm -hmm. He just in his role. His character. Mm -hmm. He don't want to talk. He don't want to play. He don't want to do none of that shit. Mm -hmm. So you respect that and learn from that. Because this business, this mm -hmm. ain't no motherfucking... Uh, yeah, hey! real shit. Yeah. Other than that, I love Mr. William III. Everybody else, I don't, I don't remember who you said. Uh, Joe Torrey. Joe Torrey. And Caffeine. And Caffeine. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Joe... Tory and Caffeine, but them niggas do their own thing. I don't mm -hmm. fuck with them. Okay. Joe Tory don't fuck with me, and Caffeine don't either. Okay. So I, I send love and respect yeah. that way, but nigga, you respect me and love me, you should send it back. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it was just that was the moment y'all shared was on that screen. That's and all. That's, that. it. That's what it. Was y'all did y'all job? I don't want to do nothing else yeah. with nobody else. Right. Right. So once you get the success of Tales from the Hood, you know what I'm saying? And that shit was a hood classic. That's, that's it, it didn't go as hard as it could have. Why you say that? Because what year was it? 90, 94, 95. 95. Yeah, 94, 95. <clears throat> Niggas wasn't paying attention to each other like that and listening and thinking about what could happen or couldn't happen. Tell from the hood, show you the ins and outs of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, Clarence William III mm -hmm. on everything I love, he showed it. Nigga, you could sell embalming fluid, sell charm, sell cocaine. Nigga, you gonna get robbed and die at the end. Nigga. Crazy K. <laughs> Crazy K, my best friend, Lamont Bentley. Yeah. Love you, bro. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in life. And, uh, you and me, I still carry you. Mm -hmm. You and Lamont were, were close? Best. Really? Real life. Oh, Look, wow. I'm going to show you how best we were. That way you know. I ain't no lying. But... Read that. Oh, yeah. Eternal. Yeah, yeah I see it. Okay, I didn't know and that. And my best friend, bro, Damn, so in life. Y'all met in in just in no in the before hood that before before the mm -hmm. moment. No, on the set of Tales from the Hood, we met. Okay, so y'all got close on the set of Tales from the Hood. Man, wow, that's crazy. So that's my man, man. Yeah, that's wow. my best friend, man. I ain't. Yeah. You know, I got other homies and mm -hmm. you know brothers that I love and respect. Mm -hmm. I treat them like. Lamont treated me. Mm -hmm. That's how they didn't know I'm a real nigga mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Was Lamont from LA too? He 
He was from Milwaukee. Okay. Okay. However, he lived out here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, his family, his mother, and all them mm-hmm. lived out here. Now, refresh my memory. What was the circumstances of his death? He it was a car accident, car accident. or something. Car accident. Oh, oh, well, he he was he was he was going a little fast. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. And he lost control. I don't even want to talk about it. Okay. I'm home caught, standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.